It's time to make your great escape And heaven knows you need a break Forget your duties, forget your cares It's good to get away Hi, and welcome to Augusta Outdoors. If you spend any time at all in the summer working out in the yard, you probably run into something that some people would rather not see, and that's the snakes. Um, everybody has them. There's probably a lot more around the, the yard than you ever thought there would be. And this week, we thought we would help share some accurate information about the snakes that live around the Augusta area, the ones you might find in your yard or under your boat. And we're gonna be visiting with a very special person. It is Dr. Whit Gibbons. He is a professor, an author, a herpetologist. He is one of the country's leading experts on snakes and reptiles and amphibians. And he will be sharing with us how to tell if a snake is venomous or if it's one of the good guys that you actually want around your house. And I think you'll enjoy hearing what he has to say. Okay, so this is, um, if you've ever seen a big snake, around town, suburban areas around here, it's probably one of these. And that's a? That's a black rat snake. Okay. It's also called a gray rat snake sometimes because sometimes they're lighter colored, like this one's sort of lighter colored at the back with blotches and then they get, they can be almost solid black. They are incredible climbers. And if we get a call at SREL that's from somebody that says, hey, there's a snake in my attic it is almost invariably. I'm never going to say it can't be a, something that's a sure. problem, but it's usually a rat snake. And they're up there looking for flying squirrels, rats, mice, birds. That's what they eat. And where, what is this one? This is called a brown water snake. There are half a dozen different kind of snakes that live around the water, in the water around here, is and a lot of them look like cottonmouths. I hear Some that all of the them time. even look like copperheads. Mm -hmm. uh, this one is a, the brown water snake. It, it eats catfish and it will bite you. You catch a brown water snake and they get five times as big. They get okay. as big around as your arm. But the thing is they look like cottonmouths. That's one of their forms of protection is a sort of mimic a snake that is very dangerous. Okay. This is a cottonmouth water moccasin. A cottonmouth or water moccasin. Um, right out, right from this area. They occur in the Aiken Augusta area, the CSRA, all the way to Florida and down through Florida. They vary in color. Some of them, when they're young, they can um, actually be look like a copperhead, be orange and reddish. Uh, some of them, when they get older, turn solid black. So you can't tell uh, exactly what you're going to be dealing with just by the color pattern. We don't like to tell people, hey, that's just a water snake, if they just describe it, because you remember the brown water snake? Look at the banding pattern on the front of this one. This is, a, this is a coral snake, eastern coral snake. It's very rare around this area in the CSRA. It's mostly coastal and into Florida. And is this a full-grown one? Are this, they tiny? Is a, this is a full-grown one, um, and it's beautiful, and it's deadly. This is a scarlet king snake, which is also known as a mimic of the coral snake. You can see it's very similar in appearance, and also he's trying to bite me like probably a coral snake would.
an eastern king snake. Uh, this is, some people might say, the best kind of snake to have around because one of the things they eat, uh, they eat other snakes. Even poisonous snakes? They even eat, the, they will eat rattlesnakes, pit vipers, copperheads, rattlesnakes, cottonmouths, and not only that, they are immune to the venom. If a, um, a king snake is bitten by a rattlesnake, uh, it doesn't care. It just wraps around it, so they're constrictors, and squeeze it to death, and then eat it. They are amazing creatures. And anybody that kills, is, anybody that kills a, a king snake is not doing themselves a service because this snake is going to keep the venomous ones out of your yard. This is a um, cane brake rattlesnake. You can see it's got the big diamond shaped head. You can see the venom sacs right in the back there. Um, this pattern is characteristic. They have a, a light pink or yellowish line down the center of the back, and they have these dark chevrons down the body, the gray body. Very dangerous animal would never try to attack someone unless they feel threatened. They would only bite somebody because they're afraid, they've been they feel threatened. Hey, what is this one? This is a very oh, pretty snake. This is a copperhead. Uh, everybody's heard of a copperhead and there's good reason for that is that most people most bites, rather, by venomous snakes are in the United States are by copperheads. Um, the people, the bite is not as serious as some of the larger rattlesnakes or the cottonmouth, but um, they do bite people. Probably one reason is they're in, they're so well camouflaged that people don't know they're around, and then they're in areas where people hike, or recreational areas, parks and they put their hand accidentally on them or stand on them and they bite. 